Welcome back to the 2017 Tank Tool Super Prix. I'm joined by the chairman of Shennington Kart Club. Now, Leslie Allen, you've been chairman of the club for several years now, 2013, I think you took over. Um, it's a fascinating time for karting, difficult times for karting, uh, not least because of the descending numbers of MSA license holders, but this club seems to buck every trend in karting. It just keeps rolling on, big numbers, huge numbers here this weekend. Absolutely. What's the secret? Well, we've got a really good team of officials um, and um, committee at the club. Uh, we do our very best to keep kart promoting karting, um, trying to um, build on the club members, new members coming into the club. Um, we put a lot of work into the circuit and keeping it all in really good um, state of repair and everything like that. Fantastic racing. Um, we have entertainment all over the weekend as well, so um, we've got big marquees up. And it's just an event that has grown and grown, and everybody seems to love to come. Um, other events during the year are also quite successful, but not on the scale of this one. This is our event of the year. And what a race it's set to be. KZ UK from NKF is going to be a really interesting one. Shane Daly alongside Scott Allen on the front row. Henry Easthope and karting returnee Matteo Zanetti from Glear, Ward, Murphy, Lang, Blick and Dan Kelly rounding out the top ten. Reigning champion in this class, James Glenister, finds himself in 12th position on the starting grid with plenty of drivers starting to fight their way through. Interesting that we've got in fourth position on the starting grid, Alan, uh, Matteo Zanetti, the reigning junior saloon car champion who has made his way back into karting recently. So he's obviously decided that karting is the way forward. Well, compared to the cars that he's been racing recently, these things are far more exciting. We're waiting for the lights. We're off and running. Craig Dickens can't get going. And he stalled it. He's going to have to push it to start it. Oh, the that rest is, are gone. That is devastating. His chances are over as the rest of the field works its way through. A little bit of nudging and maybe a little bit of bumping and boring, but they're OK. Down the main straight they go. They overshoot the hairpin and down towards the very bottom end of the circuit. These cars are ridiculously fast as they jostle for position. Everybody through safely, just a little bit of wheel rubbing and a little bit of side pod nudging as they come through towards the Bruno chicane once again. But a great scrap is definitely in the offing here in KZ. And as they come down the hangar straight for the first time, it is already starting to get very tough indeed for the number three, Henry Easthope, to work his way forward in second position. But he's got to try and keep that gap as low as possible as the leader, Scott Allen, is starting to break away. Scott Allen knows all about winning on this circuit. The E-plate English champion, Henry Easthope, he knows all about winning. He was the former junior champion some years ago, junior world champion, I should say, some years ago. He won that race overtaking two cars in the final turn he was down there two behind the places he needed to win the championship two of them had a little bit of a touch he went up the inside took the two places and won the world junior championships in the east Oak. and we know he's got bags of quality he's also the uh, british champion in this class several years ago kz1 anyway I talk about Matteo Zanetti as the junior saloon car champion. Of course, he was the champion for about 25 minutes or so because there was a, an investigation there into whether he would be champion or Katie Milner was, and it went the way of Katie Milner. Matteo Zanetti always likes to think of himself as the junior saloon car champion, though, but uh, the former Westbourne racer, there he is in fourth position behind the top three in the inside line. Henry Easto makes the move on Scott Allen, and so too to Shane Daly. So Daly is through in a second. Uh, Easthope is through into the lead, so it's Easthope, Daly, Alan, Zanetti, Ward and Adam Glear. Fantastic racing in KZ UK. As always, this is a round of the Northern Karting Federation Championship, organised by Malcolm Fell, very successful championship every year, but uh, not least in this class, which is absolutely huge. We've got some great talent in it as well. You've only got to look down the top 10 in this race to see the bag of talent. East Hope, Daly, Allen, Zanetti, Blick, Potter, Buchanan, Glenister, the reigning champion, Adam Glear, Hannah Lang in the top 10 as well. Ben Blick's made up multiple places on that lap, two or three places, I think. But here, here comes Daly. Daly for the lead. On, oh, watch out. Here comes the E-plate as well. Matteo Zanetti trying to get in there to help him. 
couldn't get through. Didn't quite work, so Daly takes the lead. East Hope, Allen and Zanetti. These four have broken clear of the rest of the field, but look at that, straight into the Bruno chicane. Scott Allen makes up a bag of time in the breaking zone, and now it is nose to tail with the top four, having an absolutely magnificent scrap for the victory. But is that going to be a chance for Matteo Zanetti to get himself onto the podium? Not if East Hope, Daly and Allen have anything to say about it. It's Daly, East Hope, Alan Zanetti, Ben Blick still there in fifth place, Miles Potter is uh, in sixth from Buchanan, James Glenister, a name we know well, Adam Glear's been doing well in this class on the uh, two plates, so second in the championship last year, Adam Glear and Hannah Lang in the top ten. That was an interesting move there to just to cover Scott Allen coming through from Henry East Hope as one of the slower carts, I think Lee Ward getting out of the way there as they continue to battle away for position. Uh, they work their way through. Some good battles just outside the top five there as well as Miles Potter, Jerry, uh, Johnny Buchanan, James Glenister, Adam Glear and Hannah Lang all tighten up. Lee Hasler in 11th from Longfield, Kelly, Arlott, Rusling and then Sherwin in front of Lucas Vaus in 17th position. Some amazing drivers in this class in 2017, Alan. And these guys genuinely have the potential to go very far from this class. Indeed. Not least James Glanister's just made up a couple of places on that lap. The number one plate, the champion from last season. But he's down in seventh here. Well behind. It's uh, the battle for the win is between these four. Pretty pretty much, I'm sure. I, I think Ben Blick is too far behind. He needs these to battle so he can close the gap. But he might, got, I think he's a little bit too far behind there, Jake. Might well do it in the last couple of laps, but by then I think he might be too late. They might just be too far ahead to make the difference. Scott Allen. Closing up on East Hope isn't quite able to make the move as they come onto the main start finish straight once again. Daly still out in front. East Hope, Alan Zanetti, then Ben Blick, who's actually broken clear of the chasing pair behind Miles Potter and James Glenister. Glear has gone back to the front of that queue behind. Johnny Buchanan and Hannah Lang still in the top ten. Great talent all the way through this mix, and there's some good battles all the way down the order, right the way down to the likes of Kenyon, Brickcliffe. Uh, Gordon and Mizovicius is up the inside. There goes the reigning champion, James Glenister, makes the move on Miles Potter to move up into sixth position. So Daly, Eastoke, Alan Zanetti, Blick, Glenister and Potter is your order at the moment. Eighth position, that is still Adam Glear trying to get away from Buchanan and Lang. Adam Glear's just put a little bit of a gap, can now try and work, to work up to the carts in front, but again, too far behind to do anything about the uh, lead battle. Four minutes on the clock as they go across the line this time, and it should be between one of these four for the win. So can Shane Daly hold on to the pressure? He started the race from pole, initially lost ground, but has worked his way back to the front. He's got a big pressure cooker building, though, with Henry Easthope swarming all over him in the braking zone for the hairpin as they come back onto the runway straight down towards the Bruno chicane. So much has happened this weekend alone in that chicane. He closes right up in the braking zone. You don't want to be too precise on the braking. You've just got to be so careful in this section of the course. As we just saw the O plate, Dan Kelly, having got past Hannah Lang, I think, to move up into ninth position. But uh, you've got to be so careful in the Bruno chicane. It's so easy for the wheels to lock and the back end of the car to step out. And that's how we've seen a couple of the accidents happen today. Drivers who may not necessarily have been trying to cause an incident have ended up doing so just by virtue of the fact that their carts are starting to slide around when the wheels lock up. Yeah, we've seen plenty of incidents today already. None of them deliberate in my opinion, but if you're the one doing the overtaking, you've got to do it cleanly, as I've said multiple times before. And unfortunately today, it's gone pear-shaped in a few of the classes. But again, as I said earlier, in the 250 class, Jake, as you see the battle in the midfield coming up through Stratford uh, hairpin. These guys have a great deal of respect for each other because these things at the end of the straight are doing over 100 miles an hour and you hit somebody at that speed in a cart with no seat belts, with the weight of these carts as well. If you flip one over, you're in danger of hurting yourself. Absolutely. We just saw that little squabble there between Dan Arlott, Chad Shiner, Max Sherwin, Malcolm Smith and Oliver Gemmel, I think, was in that mix as well. Great battle further down the order as a couple of drivers have lost ground. Johnny Buchanan has slipped out to 14th recently as well as the uh, battle intensifies behind this four-man train as Daly runs in front of East Hope, Allen and Zanetti. Clock's counted down. This is the penultimate lap. You can see a few spots of rain on the lens, Jake. 
Yeah, it gets really slippy at this place when the rain starts to come down. It's not heavy yet, and it certainly isn't wet weather tyres conditions, but it will be a little bit of a problem for the drivers if it gets any heavier on this last lap. Spitting is OK. They will still have enough grip for the final lap, but in we go to the last lap, and it's daily from East Hope, Allen and Zanetti. They've been waiting, timing it to perfection, hoping that the last lap will come to them and they're in a position to do something about the leader. Here we go as the back marker gets out of the way. It's the 22, Ross Hapeny that gets out of the way. Down to the hairpin they come once more. And it's still as you were, Matteo Zanetti losing a little bit of ground to Scott Allen in third position. I think Henry Eastop is not close enough to do anything about Shane Daly. He has to think about getting closer in the Bruno chicane but I think he's too far back. It looks to me as though Shane Daly has done enough to carry the English plate for the next year in this championship. It's the E plate he will walk away with as he gets back on the throttle over the line. Well done, mate. You're going to pick up an E plate. Shane Daly gets the victory from Henry Easthope and Scott Allen in third, from Matteo Zanetti, James Glenister, Ben Blick, Dan Kelly, the O plate is in seventh, from Adam Glear, Miles Potter and Hannah Lang. Thank you very much indeed to the Northern Karting Federation. You've put on a great show with the KZ UK. It's been a great one, but the man who walks away with the E-plate is the man who started this race from pole position, Shane Daly, in Victoria style.